Hello, today you're watching me speed painting Tea Party style Del Fox from Pokemon Unite. Stick around until the end to see the finished result. So let me explain to you how I drew this. So what we're doing first is drawing out a wireframe so we can have a guide on how to draw the line art so it doesn't look bad. I make various parts of the wireframe different colors so they're more easier to see which part is which. If you are curious about the green lines, well I included them so I can get the Del Fox's proportions right. I have a line on the head, on the body and on the ground to make sure that the fox's feet are in the right place and not inconsistently positioned. So now we're drawing the arms and and we're just going to draw the tail just like that and I'm going to use a lasso tool to position the arms I put the arms on a separate layer to make the positioning of the arms more efficient so okay I have literally nothing else to say about the wireframe so I'll just explain why I decided to choose this to draw this time it's because well uh, Valentine's Day is coming soon and I wanted to draw something Valentine's Day themed this fox is feminine and it was made to coincide with Valentine's Day, so it made sense to draw her. Okay, okay, we're on the Y, I mean the line art now. So basically, all we have to do is trace over the wireframe for this one. Pretty easy. And also, I just changed some bits of the wireframe while I do the line art. It's because, well, the wireframe isn't perfect and it needs some changes. For example... I can I move certain parts of the wireframe to make them more central oriented. You see, this art isn't that central oriented. I'm sorry about that, but I was trying my best here, okay? I should have used the symmetry tool more often and use the symmetry tool whenever there's something symmetrical. So I'll try and do that always next time. And if you're an artist looking for some tips, and I advise you to use a symmetry tool if you're drawing like symmetrical things, okay? As it makes it easier and more accurate. And plus it can save time. So anyways, now we're doing the coloring. And how I do this is basically I use the like pin color tool to get the colors, to get the accurate colors. And then I use a lasso tool to get the colors in. I highlight the desired area with the lasso tool and use the fill bucket to get that color in. And plus I sometimes resort to drawing patterns in too, just for the bits that don't need a lasso tool. Also, don't forget that the lasso tool is used to make sure that none of the colors go over the lines too. It's because if the colors go over the lines, somebody will see it and you won't be able to unsee it and that will be very annoying. And people won't like that. So anyways, now we're doing the shading. And the shading is not just solid black and white. I actually added a tinge of colour into it, in this case pink, because as you'll see later on in the video, the background is pink. So I used an airbrush tool and the lasso tool. I used the airbrush tool, it's because to make it look more realistic and professional, and the lasso tool just like earlier to make sure that none of the colours go, I mean shading goes over the lines. Also, fun fact, I have an exception to the colored shading rule that is shown off in this art with the white surfaces. If a white surface or a black surface is, is lightened or shaded respectively, rather than using a dark color airbrush, I use an actual black or white airbrush. It's because those colored airbrushes are lighter than the black or white surface and it would look more like highlights for black and shadings for white respectively so yeah okay here's a fun fact 
for this set, I broke the trend of draw a Pokemon in a Hollowware and draw a Pokemon, uh, yeah, regular Pokemon. I decided to broke the trend. It's because I originally was going to follow the trend, but I couldn't find a suitable Pokemon to draw. So I decided to break the trend just for this one. Keep in mind it's Valentine's Day drawings. So anyways, here's the background. We're adding some cute hearts since it's a Valentine's Day drawing. Isn't it adorable? We're adding some shading to the hearts and it looks pretty. And we're adding some fires in the background since Delphox are fire type Pokemon and plus it's based off of the fire heart emoji, which is nice. So anyways, here's the finished result. That's a pretty fox. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it, then you can like, comment and subscribe to support the channel. More videos just like this will be coming out on mostly Pokemon, but I will do other things occasionally. You can also follow me on Twitter to see my art too. Goodbye.